Hey everybody, today on Rado Runs Through, we're taking a look at Three Sisters. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goose, you know what they are. And if you've done that, well then, welcome to our backyard gardens, everybody, where we are going to be trying to grow all kinds of delicious fruit, beautiful perennials, we're going to be taking care of our bees, but most importantly, we are going to be growing the Three Sisters, which are corn that grows strong and tall, beans that entwine themselves around the corn, using it as a structure, and squash, the third sister that provides ground cover to keep away weeds and pests. And um, I have to admit, I didn't know anything about the concept of the three sisters, which has been practiced by indigenous people for centuries, until I eventually uh, got my hands on this copy. And I'm going to show you how it works today in a two-player run-through. This is my garden, this is Jen's garden, and this is our central board where we'll be drafting dice from. And how does it work? Well, in each round, and this game's going to take place over eight rounds, the first thing we do is we roll a certain number of dice depending on the number of players. We're playing a two-player game, so we're rolling four bones. Here we go. Alrighty, and now we deploy these dice on this little circular board, starting with the space after the current location of the farmer meeple. So all I do is I take the lowest value die, in this case, two, the dice. Uh, I take both of these threes, they are tied, and I put them on the first spot. Whoa! Yes, yes, that is correct. Put it on the first spot. But the first spot is the actual space where the farmer is. So I'm going to make this goof throughout the video where my dice are reaching a little bit farther around the rondelle than they should. I thought that was a big enough deal to mention before we continue. Uh, sure, there are plenty of little goofs here and there where I forgot to water this particular pumpkin or whatever it might be. Watch with those Klingon subtitles turned on, folks. Uh, Apollo always keeps me on the straight and narrow, but I did want to pause here to make that that one clear. Uh, you start on the space with the farmer, not the space after the farmer, like what you just saw me do. Okay, back to it! Then I take a four. I put it on the next spot. Then I take this six and put it on the next spot. If um, you know this had been a four, then I'd have two threes here and two fours here. If this had been a one, two, three, four, it'd be a one, two, three, four. But anyway, in this case, we've got two opportunities um, to visit the plant or water space, one opportunity to visit the shed, and one opportunity to just get some compost and four goods. And I am the first player, because I have the gigantic first player pumpkin, and I will grab one of these dice. And these dice will let me do two things. First of all, they will let me work on one of my plots. Plot number one, two, three, four, five, or six. Depend or in this case, number three, number four, number six. So I could work here, here, or over here, depending on whether I grab the three, four, six. But in addition to being able to work in my garden, working on my three sisters, I will be able to either visit the shed and start developing tools that will give me all kinds of powers. I could get four goods and some compost. Compost is particularly good because it lets me re-roll if I don't like the dice. And or I'm sorry, not re-roll, but re-change uh, the value of the dice, increase or decrease the value of the dice. And plants or water gives me a bonus action in the garden that I'm going to work on. So which of these do I want? Well, I got to admit, even though it's called Three Sisters, I'm going to treat it more like it's Three Sheds. I want the I want to go to my shed. So I'm going to take this four. So two things are going to happen. I'm going to work in plot number four over here, starting to grow some stuff. And I'm going to be able to start developing um, a tool of my choice. And there's a whole bunch to choose from. Now, I could do this the other. I could do the tool and then garden, or I could garden and then do the tool. One way or the other. Let's go on ahead and garden first, because uh, that's what we're here to do, right? So, when you are going to garden in a, uh, in a plot, in this case, plot number four, you either get to plant two crops or three if you get a certain tool, or you can water plot, uh, crops that you've already planted. Now, I haven't planted anything here, so watering does not make any sense. That would be a waste of turn. So I'm going to plant two crops, which I'm going to use this pen for. And it's a pen, so it's very scary. If I make mistakes, I cannot fix them. Oh, I should use a pencil. I will regret this, I'm sure. Alrighty, so, um, and what are those crops? Like I said, they're the three sisters. There's the corn, um, which if I can grow this co this particular corn all the way up four times uh, to where it's ready to harvest, I'll score three points. Uh, each one of these corn is worth three points if they get harvestable. Um, once the corn has grown a little bit, though, I could start growing um, beans next to it because, as it says in the rule book, the beans will be able to use the corn as kind of a lattice to be able to grow. Beans aren't worth as much. They're only worth one, but they grow much faster. They only take a couple of steps to get that one point. All righty. 
And finally, I've got these two squash I could try to grow. And um, when they actually grow up, one, two, three steps, or this bigger one, one, two, three, four steps, and it's harvestable, I will get goods. And goods, which I fill out over here on the track, well, they're good if I'm going to go to the farmer's market. Uh, the more goods I have, the better. So I've got to plant two crops, and which ones am I going to plant? I think I'm actually going to focus on my squash. So I have planted one squash and one more. So those are now planted. And on future turns, if I were to ever activate plot number four, I could either plant two more crops. I could start working on corn and eventually beans. Or I could water. And everything that's planted here is water. And the quicker these grow, the better. Because not only when this squash grows all the way to the top and it's harvestable, will I get three plus three more, six total goods, which I'll track over here. Once they're both done, um, that will have allowed this daffodil to grow, which means I'll start filling in progress on the daffodil. Which, by the way, the first level of the daffodil gives me another visit to the shed. So I'm already thinking long-term about getting into that shed. Okay, so... I remember on my turn, I do two things. I interact with whichever plot the die says. And then the other thing I do is whatever the action the board was. So I took this from here. So I've interacted with uh, plot four and I'm going to the shed. So let's take a look at this shed over here. Um, these things all fill in from left to right. And once they've completely filled, I will have access to the ability. I would love to get a seed spreader because if I have a seed spreader, when I'm planting, you saw me planting, I only got to do two crops. But if I have a seed spreader, I could plant three crops at a time, which is very, very cool. But that's going to take four visits to the shed to get this seed spreader built. And that's going to take too long. I think instead, I want to build something fast and make it useful. And I kind of like this rain barrel. I only need two visits to the shed. The first one and then the second one. The round circle always means the thing is complete. Either the crop is ready for harvesting or the tool is built ready for using. I only need to visit twice to get a rain barrel, which means, um, let's see. After raining, I get to, I get to do extra watering. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let's go on ahead and make that my visit. And I am done. Uh, once again, I grabbed a four, which let me work on the four. And because it was from shed, I started building a shed object as well. My turn is over. It's Jen's turn. And I have left her two choices. She can either go work in plot number three, where the same type of decision is be made. What crops is she going to plant? Or instead, is she going to water stuff she's already planted? And if she takes the three, she'll also get a bonus opportunity to plant or water. So she can really speed up her three sisters' growth. Or instead, she could come over here, grab this six, which means she'll work in um, plot number six uh, in the same way. And she will get four goods, which you'll fill over here, and some compost. And now I should say, we already started with one compost. If Jen wanted to, she could spend that compost to turn this three into a four. So she'd be able to do this, but she'd be working in plot four. Or to turn this uh, six into a five or a one. Now right now, Jen doesn't really care because we haven't really committed to anything yet. But in the future, if she's desperate to keep on working in a given plot, the main use for compost is changing the value of these dice so you can go work where you really want to work. Okay, but the real question is, is Jen going to get bonus planting or water, or is she going to get bonus compost for more control over the dice later, plus more goods? I think she's going to take one of these threes. So, that means she is going to plant or water in zone number three, and then she's going to do it again, because those are her two options. So let's go on ahead and zoom in on her, and she can start thinking about her crop choices. So Jen, like me, could go for squash, because if she finishes both of these squash, which are very short, this one's only two steps, this one's three steps, she'll unlock a hyacinth, which uh, would give her two goods to go to the market with. And by finishing this one, if she ever finishes this one over here, she'd also unlock an iris, which would give her more compost, as an example. So Jen could go for squash, like I did, but I think, no, nope, Jen, she's going to start trying to grow some corn. She's doing a double action, so she'll plant this corn, and this corn. And now, remember, because Jen went over here, she gets a bonus plant or water. So she could actually start watering these so they'll grow. But nope, Jen's just going to plant some more. She's going to be working on all four of her corn all at once. So she has planted four corn stalks in uh, region number three. So uh, that was Jen's turn. Now, oh, shoot. By the way, folks, I forgot. 
always watch the Klingon subtitles turned on because after I rolled the dice and I deployed them, I forgot, I was supposed to take the farmer and put it in the meeple and put it in the next available spot. Which means in round two, the apiary, this apiary fruit option is going to be offline. We won't have access to it. Forgot to do that earlier. I'm sure Paulo pointed that out in the uh, Klingon subs. But anyway, there's one more thing that happens. After everybody has grabbed one die, worked in a plot, and done something else, in which case, in Jen's case, he worked in a plot twice, we now, of the remaining dice that are on the board, the lowest value one, everybody gets access to that die. Everybody gets to act as if they had taken another one. So I get to work in plot number three and do a double water plant, and Jen gets to do the same. And we all do this simultaneously. So, um, and then the six, because it was a higher number, well, nobody's getting that. If somebody wanted to do that, they would have had to have claimed this. So let's come back to me. I suddenly find myself in plot number three getting to plant or water again, and then again because of the action of that space. Although, I think I might have an extra thought in mind. Yes, remember, we started with one compost. I am going to use that compost to treat this three as if it was a four. Because I want to keep working over here in zone number four. So I get to do... I, I could water zone four, but I'd rather plant. So I'm going to go on ahead and plant these. So... That was my first use of this bonus, and now my other use. I'm not gonna. I don't have any more combos, so I can't turn this into a four again. So I am going to finally work in zone three, where I'm gonna start working on the other two squash. Okay. So, that was a big turn for me. Jen, she also gets a bonus because she also gets access to this three. She will just keep on planting in um in zone three. So she'll plant that squash and that squash. And now, for the second action, you haven't seen this happen yet, but remember, we, um, you could either plant, which is what we've been doing, or water. Jen's going to water now. And that means, watering zone 3, everything that's been planted grows one level automatically. And Jen has hit this with peak efficiency. She's even finished her first squash, which gives her one, count them, one exciting good. Now, she needs to have a lot more goods before this is going to be good. And most importantly, once she gets four more goods and gets to this star, the, every time you hit one of these stars, you get a bonus action any almost anywhere you want. So Jen has started working on that, and uh, she's now got a lot of stuff growing. Uh, zone 3, whereas me, I've diversified a little bit. Okay, and the round is over, except for the event. At the end of every round, after everybody's done their drafted a die, and then gotten a bonus die's worth of action, so really, after everybody has done um, you know, two actions over here and two different actions, which could also be over there, then everybody gets this action as well. And in this case, everybody visits the shed. Everybody gets a free shed. And me, boom... I finished my rain barrel. It's worth two points to me at the end of the game, but more importantly, every time the game rains from now on, after the rain is over, I get to um, a bonus extra watering action. And you know what, folks? At the end of round two, the rain is going to come. And then at the end of round four, and then at the end of round eight. So, oh, because I spent this time uh, getting a rain barrel to collect excess rain, at the end of round two, round four, and round eight, I will get to do bonus watering actions. And you just saw with Jen how powerful those watering actions are. So anyway, everybody's doing a shed. So Jen, she gets to grab something from the shed as well. And I think Jen just wants to grab a quick, easy one as well. She's going to grab a pitchfork. It only requires one. And boom, just like that, she has one victory point for this pitchfork. But the pitchfork says Jen has variety. From now on, Whenever she's drafting dice, she gets to do, you know, work in the area, and then she gets to do whatever the board says. If she doesn't like what the board is going to have her do, instead, she could treat um, any of these rondelle actions as a perennial. So she could start growing her perennials much faster with a pitchfork. Okay, the first round is over. We move on to round two. Jen becomes the first player, and we re-roll the dice. Blipity boppity bloop. Wee. Okay, and then we see the board. This is a one, and it looks like we got two ones. So, um, there's a good chance people are going to go to the shed. And uh, then we have a three for going to the farmer's market, and we have a four for the apiary, and then don't forget, uh, the farmer moves over there. Okay, and so the um, draft begins again, and first Jen's going to grab one, then I'm going to grab one, and then if we both grab this shed, then we'll both do a farmer's market thing. But if only one of us grabs this shed, and one of us grabs the other one, we'll get a bonus shed, because this will be the lowest value remaining die, and after all that's done, 
the rains will come. Okay. But, oh, no! Oh, folks, why did I use a pin? A pin is a terrible mistake because I did <laughs> the wrong thing. I meant Jen wanted the mulch. The mulch says, hey, um, instead of doing whatever the Rondell action, she could do a flower, but I ended up covering the pitchfork. Oh, I had it backwards. Okay, which means, because Jen shows this instead of this one, whenever she gets a hydrangea, she gets compost as well. And uh, that is not what she wanted. I mean, hydrangeas are great and all that. Uh, um, you know, because, hey, they give you fruits and whatnot when you grow them. I don't know. I guess maybe she'll go with that. Oh, but I'm a dummy. Should have used a pencil. Uh, for the record, again, I'm sure Paula was pointing out, I said I was doing this, but I really circled that. Regardless. Anyway, though. So Jen is first. And you know what? <laughs> because, um, let's see here. Because Jen, all of a sudden, unexpectedly, wants to be um, growing hydrangeas, I think, I think of all the dice she could grab, she's kind of leaning um, towards the uh, fruit. There's only one opportunity to do it, so this is what Jen's going to grab. She's grabbing the number four. That means she's going to work in zone number four, and uh, she is also either going to do a fruit action or an apiary action. And you can do those in either order. She'll do the fruit slash apiary first. She wants some fruit. She, Jen is going to start growing raspberries. And because she did that, she just got one, two, three more goods. And now, as soon as she gets one more good and she hits this star, she can basically tick any box she wants, except for ones that are in the planting zones. And she'll probably tick that hydrangea to give herself an apple, which is worth points eventually, and will get her extra compost because I was a dummy and grabbed the wrong tool. All right, anyway, though. So, Jen gets to do two things. First of all, she did fruit, which gave, which um, almost completely filled up her goods for getting her first bonus. And now, she's going to work in Zone 4. Although, if she wants, she could keep working in Zone 3 because she's got some compost, and she could turn that 4 into a 3. And she could do a bunch more watering. And, um... Oh. But you know what? Before she would want to water, she'd want to plant some beans in here first. But she could do that, too. How about that? How about Jen, um, after having used the four for um, the uh, fruit, she will use her compost, turn this four into a three, and she's going to plant some more. Uh, because or, yeah, because she, she can't plant squash or corn anymore, but now that her corn is up to high enough, she'll start planting some beans. Which means when the rains come, she will start scoring more and more points. So that is what Jen did with her four. Uh, she turned it into a three to work over here. She got some fruit, and it is now my turn. And what do I want to do? I mean, heck, if I do a shed, then I'm going to get to do another shed. I could do two shed actions this turn, which would be enough to, um, you know, get the pie safe or the shovel made, where I could convert compost if I build it, if I have enough compost lying around into bonus actions. So uh, um, compost has another function. Or I could start saving up for the string trimmer, which is just worth six points, or the lawnmower, which is worth 18. And that's a lot of investment of time to get those 18 points. But 18 points is huge, is hugely huge. So you know what? I am definitely going to do a shed action. I could do the farmer's market, but now is not a good time. Because if I were to trigger a farmer's market action, well, first of all, it would be nice to plant more in zone three so I can get more stuff going on in this zone uh, and, you know, really kind of, uh, you know, d drill down. But the three says go to the farmer's market. Since I have no goods, going to the farmer's market will get me one compost. I can basically bang back from the farmer's market a bucket of excrement. And that's it. I don't want to go to the farmer's market until I've got at least four goods. Because then I can bring back the excrement plus a perennial flower. Um, so I don't think I want to do the farmer's market action. I'm definitely going to take a number one die, which means I'm working in zone one because I cannot adjust it. I don't have any compost. And uh, either before or after I do that, I'm going to the shed. So, let's do the shed first. What shed thing do I want to start building up? Especially knowing that um, because this is still the lowest value die, I'm going to get a second shed action. So, you know, I do... Uh, eh, uh, I do want to have a seed spreader. So, I'm going to start working on that. I still got to do f three more visits to the shed. So, that's a big investment. It is worth two points, which is nice. I might regret that later since I've already done some planting. But say la vie. And now, over here in zone one, I can either 
water stuff that doesn't exist. There's literally nothing here to water, so that would be a bad idea. So instead, I think I'm going to plant some stuff in Zone 1. And so, what do I want? Uh, do I keep on working on um, squash, like I started over here? I mean, if I can get all the squash grown all the way around this entire thing, creating a ring, that could be really cool, because I would definitely, um, before the game is over, want a carving kit. Because I would get one point per pumpkin. I'm sorry, it's other oh, pumpkins! In the rule book, they're called squash. Or in the... in the. Oh, man. I've been calling them squash all this time. Corns, bean, and squash. Apparently, pumpkins can stand in for squash. Go figure. Well, yeah, pumpkin is a squash. It's just a special kind of squash, isn't it? Anyway, though, so if I get all of these done, the um, that'll be worth a whole bunch of extra points for having this carving kit. But I didn't take the carving kit. I'm doing that. So, um... But again, the other reason to do the pumpkins or the squash is because they, even if I never get the carving kit, they get me more uh, plants. And they get me goods, so when I go to the market, I'll get a better return on my trouble. But I'm just going to start working on some corn. Corn and corn. So I planted in zone one. I've got some corn growing. And that was my number one action. And then uh, my shed action was to start working on the seed spreader. Okay, so we both drafted. And now, of the remaining dice, everybody gets to do a number one action. So, my number one action, uh, again, it's Sheddy time. I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to continue working in Zone 1. And uh, let's go on ahead and uh, start working on both of those pumpkins. Alrighty, so I did that. I could have watered instead, but I wanted to have a bunch of stuff growing I watered. Jen, meanwhile, she is going to be doing some more stuff in the shed over here. Let's go on ahead and get her what she originally wanted. Hey, now Jen can do... Um, so she likes growing hydrangeas, and because they give her more compost, and she can always ignore the, the uh, rondelle action with her um, mulch and do a... Uh, uh, a, a, a hydra, you know, a flower action, which could be a hydrangea. So these two could combo quite nicely together. Not bad. It's almost like I planned it. I totally didn't. Okay, so everybody got to do this bonus, and now at the end of the round, let the rains come. Alrighty, so let's do Gen first. Everything that's been planted in every zone. Oh wait, oh wait, oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Gen didn't do anything in zone one. Um, right, which is she went on ahead and started some corn growing as well. Okay, now. Everything that's planted everywhere grows because the rains hit everything. So this grows, this grows, this grows, which gives her two goods. And boom, she just got her first bonus. I don't want to forget that. I have a journal over here. In this game, turns can get crazy complicated very, very quickly. And it's nice to write notes to yourself so you don't forget to do things. So I did that. This grew, this grew. And, um, right, that's already grown. So, okay, Jen's done growing everything. And so, you might have turns where a lot of stuff gets unlocked. And rather than just trying to remember it all or using your fingers, right, how many... You can just write what you haven't done yet. Because Jen did this, she... And now she has to use this. She will use that bonus that um, she got for crossing the lines with all the goods from all those pumpkins. And with the, these stars, she could do any... Uh, a tool she wants to start working on. She could do more fruit. Heck, she could do more fruit to get her one, two, three more. Ooh, that's interesting. But if she if she could, if she could get another bonus, she would totally take it. But instead, remember, Jen likes hydrangeas. Although every time she goes to the market, she can get uh, flowers too. That's uh, one of the big things. The you get more flowers, the more goods you have when you go to the market. So. Jen's bonus action she's going to do. Is she going to do a Hydrangea? Which will get her an apple, which a second apple will get her three points. Plus, was it Hydrangeas? Yeah. Plus, she'll also start getting compost. She would like to do that so she can get back in control of her dice. So I think that's what she's going to do. Her bonus star is going to be her first Hydrangea, which then triggered an apple. And uh, let's not forget, she also got herself one compost that she'll be able to use to control the dice later. Okay, so that was the beginning. And believe me, folks, they get a lot more complicated than that. This is the first roll and ride I've ever seen that actually devotes a portion of your piece of paper to taking notes of all the stuff you've got to do when really big, complex turns happen. Okay, that was it for Jen. Jen's rain, uh, you know, the rain in a couple of zones. Me, let's see how the rains come for me. Um, so first of all, let's just start filling in. Everything is growing, 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 growing. Uh, nothing finished over there. Growing. Hey, 
I just got my first good. Hooray. Although one good is, in, is a ways to go. And I'm over in this zone too. So more growing and growing and growing and growing. Okay, so all of that rain didn't trigger any bonuses for me, unlike Jen. But don't forget, folks, I've got the rain barrel. After the rains are over, I save some water. I get to pick one more zone, and so I can make everything grow in one more zone again. Let's, uh, let's see. This one, I only have a couple of things. Although, this will give me two more goods, and it'll give me a hyacinth. And a hyacinth will give me two more goods. So I will get one, two, three, four goods, which will get me a bonus. Wow. So this is, I mean, I, I mean, if I get this extra rain here, or this extra water for my rain barrel, I won't be doing much other than unlocking another combo action for me if I want to do that. If I come over here, no, I'll get two goods for that one, which won't give me enough. That one, so nothing else will finish. Um, but if I do that, that'll give me three no, I think it's uh, as far as is. I'm going to use my water barrel over here in zone three. And um, although oh, that's only making one thing grow, one thing, but I'm going to do it anyway. So boom. And nothing else grew here, but I just got two more goods, right? Oh, let me uh, show you what I got. I just got my second two goods for getting uh, that pumpkin. And because both of these are done, I now got my first hyacinth, which I come over here, I fill that in. And that's two more goods, so boom, boom, I just got a bonus as well. Which I will get me one step closer to finishing my seed spreader. One more, and I'll get two points, and I start planting three things at a time instead of two. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so the rains have come and gone. We are on to round three. I am the first player. We roll the dice, and we put in a three, and a four, and a four, and a six. And then we move the farmer down here. And I am first. There is one opportunity to shed. I am totally, totally, totally taking this. All right, so I'm going to work in zone three, um, which I'm going to probably start planting. But first, remember, I can do this in the order I want. First of all, I'm going to, zone three said, go to the shed. Boom. I've got my seed spreader. From now on, when planting, I plant three things at a time instead of two. So let's come back over to zone three and plant three things. How about this corn and this corn? And this corn. Nice, nice, nice. So I am going to be definitely picking up the pace pretty soon. So that was it. I did a shed action and I planted in zone three with my new seed spreader. Okay. Meanwhile, Jen uh, can either do another fruit or she could start working on the bees on the api area. Area. And, um, all right, she's either going to work in zone six or zone four. Think all things being equal, she'd like to work in zone four to start finishing this pumpkin so she could get that iris because this pumpkin is already done and that iris will give her more compost. So I think she's inclined to go with four, plus she'll get more compost and she'll get four goods. Four goods will get her a bonus action. Yes, please. She's snagging that four. All right. So again, you can do this in the order you want. Jen's going to do the compost and four goods first. Compost and one, two, three, Four goods, and boom, she just gave herself another bonus action. She could do it right now, but I'm going to wait a second on that um, because I don't want to forget, I still have to do this over here in uh, zone four. I've still, right, Jen's got nothing to water, so she's going to plant. Although she's got compost, she could turn this four into a three and do uh, more watering over here and get more stuff grown. Yeah, I think so. Jen um, is... Right, so she's still got this. I made a note, so I won't forget. She's going to then turn this four into a three so she can work over here. And instead of planting, because everything's planted, she's just going to grow. Um, boom, 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 boom. Oh, everything's growing. And... Oh, no! Not everything. Oh, shoot. She hadn't planted these beans. Oh, that was dumb. I should have planted these beans, and then everything could have grown together. Um, but okay, let's not forget though, grow, 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 grow. Jen just got 12, 13, 14 points. But I was such a dummy. I should have planted instead and done those. Again, I should never, I should not be trusted with a pen and a roll and write, but that's okay. We'll live with it. So Jen um, used some compost to turn the four into a three to come over here and she watered when she should have planted. Oh, I'm so dumb. And um, that's that. But then don't forget, Jen still has to do her bonus action. So what is her bonus action going to be? Well, she's tempted to do another Hydrangea, right? Uh, because she gets the bonus of additional compost when she does it. Is she going to do that? Um, or, I mean, again, it could be anything. Jen could work on another tool. 
She could um, work on more fruit. She could start working on her apiary. The first one won't do anything. The second one will get her a fruit. Then the fourth one will get her two fruit. And then after the fifth one, she could branch into any of these, splitting her hive, trying to grow honey or wax, which will get her lots of goods, lots of points, or more bonuses in combo strings in other places. So what is she going to use that star for? I think she's going to keep on going to the hydrangeas. It's not a particularly exciting one. It was a boring blank space. But it's not boring for her because every time she throws a hydrangea, she gets more compost for more control. And now, here's the thing. If she doesn't use this compost, if she were to invest in a shovel, she could spend three compost as a bonus action, which is super powerful. So maybe Jen wants to stop using this compost, start saving it up, and then start building this shovel to spread that compost around more efficiently. Okay. So that was Jen's turn. I watered here and I was so dumb. And uh, then she, uh, what was the other thing she did? I've totally forgotten. But uh, all right. Oh, but anyway. And then she ultimately did the star. And now, hey, it's the end of the turn. Everybody gets to do goods in compost unless they want to and work in zone four. So everybody gets four goods. Jen gets one, two, three, four. Not quite enough for another bonus. I get one, two, three, four. Not enough for another bonus. And we both get. One compost. Okay, and then we could use that compost to turn this four into a three or a five if we wanted to work in different zones. Um, you know what? I think, just so I don't feel quite so bad about myself, let's say on Jen's previous thing, she had just planted these two beans because then she'll have used this compost to turn this four into a three, and then she watered here, which meant she got those beans done as well. And zone three now has everything grown. Oh, and by the way, did I forget to do this? Yes. When Jen had both of these pumpkins done, she got that hyacinth, which gave her two more goods, which gave her another star, so she can do something else now. Oh, man. Oh, it's exploding. That was the smarter way to go because Jen was going to get another bonus action so she could have gotten more compost to use this four into a three there. And so th um, she literally, there's one, once she does this pumpkin, she could get that tulip. Once she does this pumpkin, she can get that iris. But otherwise, she is done in zone three. Which means she doesn't want to ever be stuck taking a number three die. Which means she needs to keep compost on hand. But anyway, um, so Jen, all right, and she got another bonus action. What is she going to do? I think she's going to do another fruit action. Jen loves raspberries. She just got one, two, three more. She's about to unlock another action. Plus, if she does one more raspberry, she'll get a point as well. So that was that for Jen. And meanwhile, me, I just got four and one compost. Oh, wait. Oh, right. Okay, right. So I, I did that. But also, I am working in zone four again, which means I can either plant, and I could plant three things at a time. So let's do that. Let's plant these beans, because they're ready to grow, they're ready to grow, and let's plant this corn. Okay, so now um, this place is ready, except for this bean. This is the bean, the only thing I haven't planted there. All right, so that was my bonus action in Zone 4. And now, at the end of the turn, it's time to go to the farmer's market. And everybody does this simultaneously. What you do is you check how many goods. I've got nine goods, which means um, I uh, that's better than four. So I get one compost, hooray, and I get one perennial. So... I could, oh, you know what? Uh, for that perennial, let's do a hyacinth because that gives me, boom, two more goods. All righty. So now I get to do another action. Righty, righty, roo. And action anywhere except for up there. Um, You know what? I'm going to go for it. I want a new tractor. I'm going to start building the long, hard haul to get those 18 points for that tractor. So that's what that bonus action got for me. And hopefully I'll pull that off before the end of the game. That means I'm putting a lot of other stuff off that I could do. But anyway, so um, that was me. I got one compost and I got one flower, which was my second highest in, which got me that, which got me another bonus, etc., etc. That's the nature of this game, folks. And that was a simple turn. Oh my gosh, these get so complicated. Jen, meanwhile, she is going to the market. She has... No! She just needs one more! She's at 19. If she had 20, she would get a fruit and a flower. But she's at 19, so she gets a compost Urgh. and a flower. Okay, what perennial is she going to take? You know, it's a little too late, but I think she's going to take another hyacinth, which gives her more goods. Which get, Now she's at 20, but too late. But she, hey, she just got another bonus action. And Jen loves 
raspberries. She'll get one, two, three more. And that's a point for the end of the game. And she's about to, because she next time she goes to the farmer's market, she wants to have 35 things on hand so she can do two flower actions and a compost, as opposed to a flower and a fruit. Although fruits are nice too, uh, but flowers are much more powerful. They're harder to get. Okay, so that was the end of all of that business. We move on to round four. We're not even a third. We just barely over a third of the way through the game, folks. Jen will go first in round four. And, all right, so a two and a two. So there's probably going to be some more farmer's marketing and a four and a four. And there's going to be some apiary and fruiting. And Jen is first dibs. So Jen knows she's going to go to the farmer's market. Unless both of us... Wait, if she takes this, she goes to the farm. She might go to the farmer's market twice this turn. If she does this and then I do a four, then this will be the lowest value. She'll go to the farmer's market twice and um, get two flowers and two fruits. Oh, she would like that very much. And does she want to work in zone two? She hasn't really done anything in zone two. But she hasn't done anything in zone four either. So she's got to decide what she's going to do. And then what's she going to leave me? What am I wanting to do? Hey, remember, when I plant, I get to plant three things. Um, although I can't plant... I mean, so if I'm going to do a four, I wouldn't want to plant in zone four. I'd want to water and get things growing or start planting a bunch of stuff in zone two. I think I'd rather do that at this point because at the end of this turn, the rain is going to come. And remember... I've got a rain barrel, which means I'll get... So I definitely know I'm going to go into zone two. But Jen is first. Where is she going? I think... I think she's going to um, forward it up. She's going to move over there. So an apiary of fruit. Jen, in real life, loves raspberries. So she's just going to keep on pumping that agenda. One, two, three. Which just gave her another star that she's going to need to do. I'll come back to that in a second. Because Jen, she has nothing growing here. So she's going to start planting squash. Because once this pumpkin is done, she'll get an iris. And with that, she'll just do this one. Um, and you know, maybe she's going to go for this whole you know ring of pumpkins and then use the carving dish. Maybe that's like a long-term goal for her. So she planted both of those. She... Um, Oh, what else did she do? Oh, she did more fruit. And so now she's got a star. What is she going to do there? Well, maybe it's time to start working on this carving kit. She's already got one, two. She's working on these now. She could make a go of it. Yeah, let's say that's what Jen's doing. Jen's got a long-term goal. She needs three visits to the shed. And then, I mean, she could ultimately get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve points if she gets uh, the entire ring of all the pumpkins. Plus, if she does that, she will have gotten all of the flowers twice. These are all super powerful bonuses, too. So Jen has staked her claim. She's going to try and ring her entire thing with beautiful pumpkins. So that was her taking a four. And remember me? I totally wanted to take a two. And I'm going to plant over here in zone two. And that means I get to do three plantings because of my seed spreader. And let's start working on pumpkins as well. Or, I mean, pumpkins are never worth points. They just give you goods that make you do better at the public market. But points is points. I'm just going to plant some corn. Corn, corn, corn. Because remember, the rain is coming. All right, so that's what I did in zone two. And um, I get to go to the farmer's market now. I've got, um, was it, 11 goods? That means I get one compost. And I get uh, one flower. So do I want to get more compost? Do I want to do another shed action by doing a daffodil? Do I want to get uh, more compost? Do I want to get my first apple? A second apple is worth three points. Apples, the more you get, they, they are worth a lot of points. Everybody loves apples. Or tulip. Uh, tulip, my first tulip will let me do any fruit action I want. Interesting. Hmm. But you know what? No, I'm just going to keep on pushing the hyacinth. Uh, it doesn't do anything for me, but hey, I'll get some more goods. But here's why. If I make it all the way to the top, that's ten points. You better believe by the end of the game, I'm going to have those 10 points for having the most beautiful hyacinth uh, display anybody's ever seen in their backyard. That's going to be gorgeous. So that's what I did for that. Now, what's left over? A two. Everybody works in zone two, and everybody goes to the farmer's market again, whatever order they want. So I'm going to work in zone two again. I'm going to plant my other three things. One, two, three. I've got everything planted except for my beans. All righty. So that's pretty cool. I didn't grow anything. I just planted. And uh, and then two meant I get to go to the farmer's market again, which means I get another compost. And I get another flower. Let's just go on ahead and keep on pushing the highest in the agenda, which gives me two more goods, almost unlocking another bonus. And Jen, meanwhile, she's going to do a two. She'll start planting some stuff. And now, Jen, she is definitely going to plant that a pumpkin and uh, so she can get that iris. 
and she will go on ahead and plant um, that corn. So that's what she did for her two and for her farmer's market. Where is she at? She's at um, you know mid twenties, so she gets a fruit and a flower. Oh my gosh! Well, she'll take a she'll take a break or. Nope, she'll keep on pushing raspberries, which gets her one, two, three more. That's another star that she's got to do. And, right, so she just did fruit. We've, and has she already done the, yeah, she did that. So actually, no, so she's going right to this now. And what is she going to do? Oh my gosh, she's going to keep on pushing that carving kit. So, because she wants that carving kit, precious. Okay, so that was it. We all did this bonus. And now, at the end of the round, it's time for the rains. Everything gets rained on. Let's do Jen first. Okay, she gets some rain there and some rain there. That's nice. Nothing else there. She's, these start growing. That's nice. Nothing happened. This is completely done. And she's got a little bit of growth here. So that rain didn't trigger anything in particular for her. Sorry, folks. I didn't realize I was off screen there. So anyway, Jen got a little bit of growth here, a little bit of growth here, and that was it for her. Let's do me. Okay. Let's uh, see when the rain comes. They run and hide their heads. Might as well be dead when the rain comes. All right, let's just go over up here. Nothing yet, nothing yet, nothing yet. Boom, two goods, which, boom, just got me a star. And uh, that was it for zone one. Zone two, grow, 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 goo, grow. Zone three, growing, growing, growing. And uh, those are all full, so that's it. Zone four, oh my gosh, boom, and a bean finishes. And uh, boom, I just got three more. One, two, three for that. And uh, grow, grow. I got another point there. Grow, grow. Oh, I've almost got that. Okay. And then zone four, I don't have anything. Zone or five, I don't have anything. Zone six, I don't have anything. Um, hey, oh, and I don't have this crocus yet because that hasn't finished. I don't have this hydrangea yet because that hasn't finished. Oh, man. I've got all these that are close to finishing, but none of them have yet. All right. So, but don't forget, I've still got my star after everything else. So what am I going to do? Keep on working on that beautiful green tractor. Oh man, that's going to be a biggie when I eventually get that done. Okay, so that was it for round four. Um, we are on to round five. I'll be the first player. We roll these bones. And there's a one and a two and a five and a six. A little bit of everything. Shed, extra planting and watering, apiary fruits, or more farmer's markets. This moves over here. And I will be first. And what will I do? Honestly, folks, I don't know, but I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of the basic flow of Three Sisters. Now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.